1975, German jazz rock soul band Altona released back-to-back -back albums on RCA Victor, and from the second of those, Chicken Farm, the track Feigenblatt.
okay, there was a lot to take in there. Fucking blood. Yeah. Um, began with this rainy wind in with piano softly playing notes into this billowing airy sax and um, gradually layering into one another some jazzy barroom notes on those piano keys under the rain the kind of sound of late night winter streets and then this clickety drum faded in and then finally around uh, 25 seconds into the track or so this tight flowing cadence emerged amid the strong backbeat and it shuffled through a series of instrumental verses and bridges that just kept on you know filtering through and and almost faster than you could keep up basically three main sections um the verse if you could call it that um four wallops per bar in c minor it kind of felt like um emphasis like the melody going like five seven two one like down 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 yeah and and dun, dun, and c and um, alternating with Leslie, this Leslie piano figure, I think maybe some like Leslie guitar over piano, or maybe it was just Leslie, maybe it was piano filtered through a Leslie pedal. And then um, a kind of a far chorded bridge, E flat to D minor with this plaintive, sax melody that accented the high notes like no 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 yeah really a lot of earworms to this track it's like it's like there were about four different song ideas that were just effortlessly segged into one another and then we had that urgent bridge with soaring guitar like do no 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 yeah, and then back around through various, and, and even like a few more kind of moments that I wasn't quite able to drop down. But um, yeah, one of their instrumental tracks, um, they tended to, I think they, the balance of instrumentals was a bit higher on their first album. This one tends to emphasize... Uh, there tends to be a lot more moments for the vocalist saxist um carl heinz blumenberg yeah to show off his pipes on this album and one such example is this track lover's tale <laughs>
give depends on what you give. Being in love is just what makes you live. Without a sweeter man, they call you cold. But with a lover, you. showing a very different side of the band here, beginning with the slow opening in G on Fender Roads, making this glowing tone, rising, I think, to A minor 7. Yeah, very kind of drippy chord right there. And then um, entering into the slow verse, um, starting in G minor, and then oftentimes usually dropping, like, F, and then way down to E flat. And then on, on other lines like maybe rising um and uh we had some really belting vocals from um, our guy um who um later uh oh more on him in a minute and um stretched vowels rippling churchy organ sustained guitar tones elongated simmering sax notes and the bridge featured this rising sax basically c d down with this like brimming kind of sunny synth tone underneath it that really added to the fullness and tonal color and then a repeat of, of those sections. The, the, the verses were quite long resolving to this. And as a matter of fact, as he sang, and, and, and as I took in just the power of his voice, I became more curious as to what he was singing about. His, his accent it obscured some of the words to these ears, but I, I looked to no avail to, to, to find the, a, a lyrical printout of this. Um, Anyway, at around 3.15, a guitar solo, followed by uh, just a spotlight on those sunny synth sustains. Yeah, kind of that, this sort of like mid-70s sound that was kind of almost proto numinesque in a way. It's the sound like um, on the midsection of um, 
of Just the Same by General Giant, which came out the same year. After all those wiggly Zolo sounds subside for a moment, that, like there's this, no, 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 no. That section, somewhere in the middle where you hear sounds very similar to that. Kind of, yeah. Almost kind of like icy in a way. Yeah. Um, dry ice tone. Got a tone, tone to it. Um, and then uh, the, the middle was, midsection was broken by these blocky sax chart. And um, then a repeat of the verse and bridge. One line that really stood out to me is, love is a thing that takes us down to hell. And, and he said, and he, down to hell. Yeah, I, I really liked his, the way he, his voice kind of really rose and, did all these like arcs and everything and um powerful track uh blues blues rock soul belter showing this band's diversity yeah um two great albums in the span of a year almost like lightning in a bottle yeah um for a bit of background here altona were a german jazz rock funk band from hamburg that released two albums okay i told you all that guitarist Werner uh, von Gossen hailed from the classical jazz rock band Thrice Mice. Altona formed in 1972 upon the dissolution of Thrice Mice, which issued an eponymous album the year beforehand on Phillips. Vocalist Carl Heinz Blumenberg, a late period member of Thrice Mice, would ultimately play saxophone in Altona and sing more on, on the second album especially, um, although they, they also did a lot of instrumentals. I've already heard. Um, the band gigged the German club circuit for two years and then landed their deal. Released, uh, recorded their first album in 1974, self-titled, released early in 1975. And then later that same year released Chicken Farm. And I've already co covered another um, track by uh, from Chicken Farm, yeah, Elephant Walk. I did that early last year. Um, another great, kind of a, like a funky brass rock track with a great chorus. Yeah, jump, jump in my bed. Yeah. Nothing like uh, the um, Henry Mancini number from Hatari. <laughs> Cute as that was. Um, anyway, uh, I guess... Uh, Blumenberg later became kind of a comedy retro rocker guy, fronted the band Dirty Dogs, and recorded a, an album as Harry Horror. And um, the producer of, of the two Altona albums also did subsequent recordings for Satin Whale, Message, Bastard, Novalis, and Nix. So a lot of great uh, German stuff under his belt. Yeah, there's um, uh, the bio just uh, went up on jazzrocksoul.com. You can read a bit more about Altona there. Anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from the two albums by Altona, see the directory of albums by German artists linked in the description below. And you can also find all those other bands I mentioned on there as well. There's more than 11 albums, all ruby mine. So if, if you're curious about a title, um, right click or highlight right click one of the red tracks right click and uh, the a YouTube video to the song should be one of the first returns in the secondary tab that pops up yeah do it at your own leisure don't try and take it all in, in one day you could spend years delving into the Trimax German jazz rock prog rock new deutsch well electronic folk hard rock scene yeah like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard. The uh, musical sections, the interplay, the soloing, yeah, the instrumentation, who had the best break, um, the vocals, the lyrics to the second track, if you caught them better than I did, yeah, what was the best moment, the most intense, the most profound. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel, Tremax most, signing off.